Hello, welcome, welcome back to Blender Switch Live. In this episode, I want to uh, take the detour and we're going to try Krita and take a look at Krita AI Diffusions. It's a generative AI uh, inside Krita open source uh, painting and drawing apps. So I, have, I haven't used much of Krita, but I'm interested with uh, the generative AI part. Um, I, I, I want to see how this works inside Krita. So it seems like it's been updated uh, just recently to version 1.7. When I started using it, it was 1.2 and it was, it was actually last night. Um, with 1.7, you can actually use uh, the real-time ability. So uh, if you read the page, you will know how to install the, the plugin. Um, the fastest of uh, the way you can cr generate AI art or whatever like scintography art is uh, if you are using NVIDIA GPU. The one I'm using is um, Mac Mini with a CPU, Apple CPU supported but uh, very slow. It's kind of getting a little bit faster so I want to try this. Uh, okay, so let's get started. In order for you to have this inside Krita, in order for you to have this uh, add-on plugins, AI image diffusions is that you you first need to download it so you download it from AI diffusions download the latest download uh, as a zip so inside the zip uh, you will see there are two files that you need to place somewhere so this is the Krita diffusion this is the one that I installed earlier and then it's got upgraded to 1.2 actually now it's 1.7, I think. Um, you need to put these two files inside uh, the Krita plugins, which is in, in, in Mac, it's under application support. In order to get there, you probably need to go to folder and find your username, library, application support. It's kind of hidden. Anyway, if you, you need to figure it out first. And under application support, you will find Krita folder and you will find a folder called PyKrita and it's empty by default, but not, I have these two. I have AI Diffusion and Blender here. Once you have that, you can restart Krita and you will have these options uh, under Python plugin. Okay, generative AI and it should work right away so last night I tried to make random doodles like a character design or something based on the prompt which could be interesting uh, start but we're gonna try with new image and make it 512 by 512 resolution 72 so it's very low and yeah let's get started have fun so the layout that we have here it's a uh, it's not the original default layout you might notice uh, I have this AI image generation, uh, oh, what do you call it, dockers? Uh, yeah, dockers. AI image generations, dockers. This appears after you install the, the plugins. And before you actually have this, you need to install a lot of things around 10 gigabyte or more. Okay. So you will see, I, I just click on this tools control panel of AI image generations and there's a lot of options there's a lot of uh, additional like a JSON presets this is actually really really cool I think the, the way uh, Krita has this AI uh, it's actually using comfy comfy UI in the backgrounds uh, sort of and then stable diffusions and I tried it last night and it was really intuitive. Uh, all the settings is actually, most of them are there. There's actually uh, very easy to use, right? If you look at uh, other implementations using Web UI Automatic 11.11 or use your own Comfy UI, which is not based, or if you are using like Dream Texture in Blender or, yeah, I think the, um, this is one of the best implementations so far inside an app. 
So it's a uh, fairly easy. Maybe I talk about this a little bit later. For now, uh, let's try creating something. If you uh, we we are inside Krita, right? We're gonna be drawing things. So we don't start blank, uh, but we can just hit generate. For example, uh, let's say I wanna make like a what is it? Uh, a tiger in a uh, holding a cup of coffee in a cafe. Or let's see, maybe not a tiger. Easy one, T Rex. T Rex. Uh, so let's just hit generate. It will hit. It will. It, it's gonna generate generate T Rex holding a cup of coffee, right? Eventually, and the sampling is. Uh, I think by default it's 25 uh, sampling. You can see it's a bit slow on a Mac, but I think it can be faster. I, I just, maybe my sampling is too high or something. But while doing this, we can also draw our own, right? A T-Rex. The basic one, if it's like a kit drawings, based on your imaginations, right? If you are doing it without reference, you will often end up with the same drawings that you have seen before, or you might be uh, developing your style as well by accident. I mean, you don't know if this is your style, but maybe this is, this is, maybe this is my style, or maybe this is something that I learned over time but anyhow, it's a T-Rex, some kind of T-Rex, or this is, could be like more like a Godzilla. <laughs> it's holding a big glass of, it's not a cup. Maybe it's a big glass of something. Um, yeah, but it's still my own doodles and my own style. I, I draw this without looking at anything. Okay, where? well, this is the AI, the one that's AI made. It's not the best. You can see it uh, seems low res, and then it's photorealistic. However, maybe it's it seems like over sample actually over sampling happenings. It's using this uh, cinematic mode. I'm not using I'm not using the digital artwork mode. So there are two seems to be like two style. It's using realistic vision v VAE. There's this is the model that I have in my computer. There's this juggernaut. XL, uh, anything, but anyway, it's a, uh, it's rather uh, slow, but still kind of interesting. Uh, let's see if I can improve this. Maybe I, has, I should have used this GPU. Maybe it's gonna be faster that way. But anyhow, we have this. Now that we you have this, you you might be wondering. Okay, maybe. This seems more 3D with the nice background and the characters looking to the camera instead of my own version. Usually the basic one often kind of flat. Uh, it has flat design. It's not wrong, but this is probably like the style uh, you currently have or with your skill, but it's interesting. But what could be interesting is that what if I like this a little bit more, but I want to infuse the AI into this guy. How can we do that? So the, in Krita, apparently, so you can have this button and you, you can have multiple things influencing the final result, right? By default, it's just gonna use image and generate a layer based on that. But now I, I have this scribble, which is my own style, scribbles. I can use line art to, to let the AI colorize whatever contents it might think. There are other things that I, I might explain later, but for now, just use Scribble. Uh, use the same strings, whatever. Maybe I can reduce this. Um, anyhow, we, we, we paint this on the paint layer and we can use this as Scribbles. So the AI will be generated somewhere. Let's save this first. With, uh, AI test. Just gonna hit 
generate a thing. And just wait a few seconds. Um, so there's uh, yeah, other options like uh, soft edge, canny edge. This one is useful if you have your you have like a if you take a photo for example, and you you, uh, you want to use uh, that photo as a reference, and translate it into an illustrations. You can use soft edge or canny edge. The depth is also interesting, uh, something you can try. If you have a photograph, you can convert it into depth and then use the depth to influence the AI generation. There's also normal, similar to depth, normal. We'll look at, uh, it could help the AI figure out uh, which one have certain texture. Pose, if, a, if you already know how the character should pose, you can use pose. You can post 3D character in Blender, bring it into Krita and use pose. Or you have a character in certain pose. Maybe if you go like up to pose library, pose maniacs, and you find a certain pose um, that you can use. You can load this inside Krita. And then the AI will actually, the AI will use the pose and then recreate and regenerate so i just take a snapshot there in a few seconds we just we're gonna see something hopefully yeah yeah as you can see it's not the fastest it's a bit slower than draw things ai we can actually make things faster with draw things app um, maybe this still can can be improved uh but oh assertion error okay interesting something ah okay we got something this one is influenced by our original image uh, so apparently we draw the t-rex really really small and the ai actually generates similar thing and put the glass of coffee on the table. Pretty cool, right? Now we can actually use this as a reference. This this guy is holding a lot of the ring key somewhat. I don't know why. Yeah. So this is interesting, right? So we, we get it into something now. Um, let me try if I bring in, how to bring in. Let's try a different things. We want to use Scribble as well, and we want. I want to try the one that's real time. There's a live mode in version 1.7, so by default it's generate, and we can generate based on this setup, digital artwork. The XL is a is a newer one, using SDXL, so it's it could be more realistic and could be could give a better result. Um, I don't know if it's any faster, but let's try the something first. Like, let's hide this. Okay, we're done with that. Paint layer and mirror, mirror in Krita. And let's. Ju I just gonna close my eyes. No, this this give you ability to make like a symmetry, right? Let's make, a, for example, like a, some kind of alien character right this is always a fun things to do uh so we can make maybe okay maybe make a robot some kind of robot aliens both organic and mechanical yeah should we have antenna yeah you know like very basic stuff so is this character complete maybe but it's uh, more it's very simple like just like a scribble but we have something, right? This is still something original because it's just random doodle, but we get something. This one is, uh, like we say, uh, mecha, alien, creature, robot, creature. Oh, yes. We can say totem, character. 
inspired by retro design quirky surreal this is the prompt and I want to generate something from this guy okay from scribble paint layer now paint paint layer 2 hit generate okay we have to wait again so every time this happens you have to wait but it's it, it might not be a bad thing, as you can see later. Uh, when we actually use the real-time mode. I'm kind of wondering if the setup is correct. So, this is the style preset. You can make more preset. I'm using realistic vision. Uh, I think the LoRa. Okay, LoRa is being used. LCM LoRa. Sampler setting, sampler step 20, okay, I could probably reduce this, but it's already been reduced. Maybe make this to 2 or 3, guidance scale CFC. So there, so there is live mode and the default mode. The default mode is going to be slower. The live mode is actually the one that's the most interesting because that's when you actually can make doodles and then the AI will translate it almost like in real time so it's gonna be a lot faster let's try this mode in a bit so in the meantime we're gonna wait uh, so this okay this kind of thing right text prom if you use something like Bing AI okay this is cute micro portrait of cane toad wearing black hat and mustache sitting alone drinking coffee with tiny gingerbread man Christmas time. So this is cool. <laughs> the Bing AI, of course, can generate this really fast. It's using DALI 3 uh, underneath. It's pretty amazing, actually. Uh, it gives uh, like a flat composition. It's very basic compositions, but most of the time. But okay, this is a sort of character that you might expect. This one is really cool. I like this. It has some kind of totem quality. It's mechanical. Wow, this is beautiful. Yeah. This could be a start, but this sort of thing that you can create, I believe. Yeah. Okay, why it's giving an error? Huh. Okay. Yeah, it gets we get something. We get creations, and this this was based on that guy, which is our doodle. It's pretty cool. It's not bad. Now, what if we try to make a scribble mode, set this to live mode, now it's live. What if we start doodling? Uh, yeah. I don't know what this is. Could be like a monkey. Can we make like a monkey totem? The monkey sitting meditating it's monkey head it's Suzanne meditating something like that so ah, okay I forgot uh, maybe We can randomize the seed. I think it's a bit slow, right? On a Mac, it's a bit slow. It could be faster. I think last night it was a little bit faster when I was not recording. If this is faster, what you're drawing here will be reflected here. And we're going to get result almost instantaneously. There's some happening here. I can see some kind of faded lines, maybe some kind of like a koala or something. The funny thing is when, when doing this, right, here I'm creating something original and this is the AI fadedly making something.
save this. Okay, now we're starting to get something. Finally. I, I will say like hyper realistic mecha alien creature totem character inspired. Let's increase this even more. The strings of the scribble scribble control net. Okay, this is using control net. Using my scribble set to 100 percent The strings it was really low. Now I started to get something. I, I will just hit randomize the seed. It's gonna randomize the character design. You can start to compare your doodles and this guy over here. But because it's like Krita, Krita, this is like just a scribble, just outlines. Krita actually have things. Okay, now it's starting to get something. But you know, it's slow, but maybe it's a good thing being slow because you are, you are infusing your own creativity, creativity, right? So let's try use a marker or something. I like the marker. I like this one, I think, or this one, a little bit thicker. Okay, let's use this. There's, there might be watercolor somewhere that we can use, but this seems to be nice. So now you can compare this guy and this guy. Okay, I'm, I'm making a monkey, right? The AI is doing something else. Yeah, but this could be an inspiration of what you're trying to create. Because this is a work in progress. But you have the total control, right? The AI is not... The AI could give uh, inspirations and you're kind of wondering, okay, you know... My version doesn't have legs. You, you This one have... This one seems to be more like 3D already. Looks a bit more like a car. Mine is something else. It really is something else. So, so the, the, the my Mac machine being slower is might be a good thing. Now it's becoming something else again. It's more like a bug insect. Is this really what I want? No, I want the, I like my own version, for example. Save this. Anyhow, this is like a work in progress. Let's get back to what was my tool before. What was what was my brush? Okay, maybe this one. Oh, maybe I like some of the those design. Anyhow, I could incorporate that maybe. I don't mind this to be a little bit darker, give more definitions around that area. I know this guy is more like 3D. Now we're starting to get something here. Maybe I want to use this, maybe I don't. I don't know. We are open to interpretations. But we 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 truly get some result already, right? Okay, maybe just gonna create a new layer, layer five. Gonna switch this to layer five. We actually have something that's blank. Let's make something. Maybe it's like a cow looking creature it's a totem the totem usually have this kind of symmetrical design okay meditation pose once again maybe some kind of bull horn This one is a bit slow. 
Maybe I need to pause it. Okay. Meditating alien. So the prompt is actually real time as well. Meditating make her alien feature totem character inspired by. Oops. Okay, I think it's the, it disappeared. My prompt disappeared. Okay. Doesn't matter. Let's do this. If I'm using draw things, we're going to get result much faster. That's okay. Let's do this. I, I like the eyes here. I like the eyes. It's, uh, the, so the AI is showing me something different there. But I quite like it. I like the that design. I don't like how it's bleeding too much there. I still want to have the definition on the horn and around this area. I have a feeling uh, maybe the color is also influencing the final result. But this is the scribble and this is the color, right? So maybe we need to create an additional control layer and then this should be maybe the normal or the image based on paint layer 6 but not set to 100%. Set this to 50 or 70. So it's going to follow some of our doodles here. The color going to try to infuse and incorporate that it should be be lower because because that you know is very basic I think I need to activate the GPU mode or something so it could be a lot better and faster. Huh? Yeah, see, I, I don't mind that actually. That's some kind of sim simplicity, a little bit abstract. It's got a character big nose. I accidentally did something there. I accidentally smudge it. Erase that area. Back to where's my favorite pencil tool? Oh, I don't know. Maybe this is the eyes character. You get some kind of totem. Now this one actually, I like that quality. So this could be an eyes. This character is no longer like a bull. Maybe reduce this, get rid of this. It's real time. I should be able to go back and forth. At any time, we actually can change the model, maybe. If we change to XL mode, we cannot use all this control net. This control net will work for the older Stable Division uh, 1.5. I like the eyes. This one have simpler design. I do believe, okay, let's say, let's get rid of that for now we have this scribble file export PNG save this on the desktop
that's cool. Bing is pretty powerful. Bing Dali is powerful, but Stable Division is cool. Okay, this is uh, actually from a video clip last night. I was testing this, remixing this dance by Perfume, Japanese dance. I accidentally use the wrong prompt, so I get this result. A frog inside submarine, but the result is pretty cool. Start a new project, continue, make this uh, one one five twelve by five twelve. I want to use similar thing. Realistic vision. And we're gonna use a file. From the desktop. This is our scribble. Actually I need I should have load scribble from files, which is our scribble just now. So this is a scribble layers. As you can see in routings, you have image, scribble, pose mood board, etc. depth map. Uh, and we have control net here, canny, whatever. We're gonna use scribbles, control net number two, zero. This one, our oh, realistic vision, is this SD? No, scribble control net one. Back to Krita, where is Krita? Okay, it's now, try. it's making Weird thing based on this. Okay. I think I lost actually I, I lost the the prompt here somehow. So maybe it's already a little bit broken. Make a hyper realistic Totem, robot, mecha, creature, meditating, intricate details, surreal. The negative prompt, let's just use the preset, cinematic default. Let's generate. Routings app will generate this faster. Okay, it's already creating something. Wow, right? It's a lot faster. Just few seconds, it's gonna generate this. This is what. This is what uh, I was expecting from Krita. So now it seems to be slightly broken. Let's stop this. Stop. Can I write something? Quit creator. I think I'm using Krita version that's a little bit funky. Okay, let's see. Draw things up, hyper realistic totem robot mecha creature meditating. Copy paste. Create a control net layer based on the scribble, scribble of paint layer five. Okay. Save, scribble 100%, string 100%, live, start live preview, it's gonna look at this scribble and start to make something. So that's the, that's the process basically. Uh, I'm gonna try actually. Layer is invisible, okay. Mirror. The mirror will always be interesting. And here I'm just using my mouse. 
you can use your stylus then Yeah, I think it's a little bit slow, a little bit too slow. Let's increase this strength. Scribble 100% now. Ah, okay. So I think it's something this, this the leg. Meditating, okay, it's understand that. We could we could see like with the AI, okay. Uh, okay, it's it's becoming something else. Let's randomize the seed and then okay. If it's going down, it's more like an insect going up. Let's try to create a certain design. I, as I, I'm recording this, right? So I can always come back to this design. Normally the AI will generate and save it somewhere. You need to make sure you save it, otherwise you're gonna lose, lose everything. Because this is slow, right? Because this is showing me slower than what I'm drawing. I mean, the AI generates slower, and I'm a little bit faster here. I can actually could infuse some of the design. So now this the AI is obviously like this area, and turning turning it into some kind of robotic head. That seems to be like a good idea. I didn't think of that. Big head, big eyes. Maybe that's why I need this. This part. This looks like more like a three D, in a way. See, when we are doing scribble, we often end up with a lot of overlapping part. You can always just erase. The erase will reverse that. Someone told me in the past when you're making something, don't worry. Don't worry. I mean, uh, don't erase, but actually draw on top of it with white. Kind of same the same thing, but it's not. And leave a little bit of marks of the previous trick. It's actually okay to do this when you are brainstorming character ideas. I like how it, it has a, like a real totem totem quality, like a indigenous people of from different areas. Indigenous people tend to have this kind of quality. I like how colorful that thing is. So we could we could always create a new layer and also use whatever marker you like to use. And the marker itself will not will not affect this guy, will not. But you could have some kind of idea which part is solid and which part it's no longer solid. The AI could help with the shading actually. Mm, okay, it's become something else now. The detail is cool. 
I, I just get rid of the intricate details for now. Gonna create something that's a little bit more easy, basic for the eyes. It's gonna change in a bit. Mm, the legs very small, but I want this part, you know, more prominent. Okay, where is my favorite brass? I have to switch how. How to switch between tools in Creator? Let's say I decided, okay, right, this one's getting a little mess messy, but I like the quality, some quality of the, what the AI is drawing there. So maybe I could infuse some of that. Let the AI keep doing that. Some kind of eye. So this is some kind of alien looking character. Make out. You can follow some of this design. I quite like the top part. This, okay, the character might have a little leg like that. So the AI is making it more like 3D. So I can, we can do a little bit of adding a little bit of 3Dness into this. It's kind of okay. This one, okay, the eyes. I like to leave some of those. No, it's, uh, let's switch to paint layer 9 so I'm gonna switch to that I still, I'm still saving the previous one okay the AI will get surprised oh hey man you, you're changing your design again randomize the seed let's see what's gonna happen now Okay, look, look, this part is actually interesting. The, the finger, the finger part. Now we, I think our design is starting to look quite interesting. This, the leg part, yeah, that middle part is kind of interesting. So it does now look like a, it has some kind of original or originality. It looks like a mecha style design, but also it has like a, like the Aborigines primitive style, like a, some kind of tribes design. This one is not okay. I don't quite like the how faded it is. Maybe I just need to balance this. It's getting darker. This uh, 
we can probably use, you know, we can That's the preview for Mecha Aliens. Copy the current result. Okay, we get that. Nice, okay. This one's a little bit dark, but it's actually Okay, not bad. Let's let's randomize the seed. Let's see if we could, if we could have different design. I don't mind that. Now at this point we could create a new layer, paint layer 10. This is going to be the color for our design. Let's do tick. I should use more Krita, I think. Okay. We get something now. It's starting to look like what I want in my mind. Or it's just a, a little bit random. But it's infusing both my original creations my random symmetry scribbles and what's the ai is doing on top mine's more like kind of like a graffiti like if you might say that but we could start to paint this closer to that if we want to or if we don't want to and we just rather paint it our own ways we can sort of do that as well. We are on top of the AI. Which is why the process is kind of interesting. I mean, if this is the slower way, it's, it's designing the background now. It's, hmm, you know, we are in, okay. AI things, I think it's always like, kind of like in progress you can always remix and infuse something else and then you can always repaint it and then modify it someone can always take inspirations and build something from there but the point is I think there are so many possibilities and so many variables that what you make will not be the same as the other makes because of the you know there are billions possibilities okay i keep doodling on top of the ai one the ai one's a bit dark somehow let's reduce the string or something i do like the quality what's the ai make like this part is a bit darker so that looks like glowing that's something that I couldn't draw easily. Maybe I can use Blender. At this point, I could stop and just use this as reference to make a 3D versions in Blender or Plasticity. I love Plasticity. Yeah, I think we, we, have, we have something here. I guess I keep doodling thing and I think that's gonna affect the result. This could, I could use the blur of paint layer 10 to influence this guy. 50%. Now the AI is gonna think, okay, you're crazy. You're just, you're changing your design again. But I gonna, but the AI is happily, the AI is happily, okay, anyway, I don't mind you change your design while doing this. I'm just gonna follow through and make modifications and continue. You can keep doing this until until exhausted the way 
Oh uh, yeah, okay, now it's a bit crazy now. The programmer use this terminology uh, until ex until exhausted. So you can randomize. You can you can send this as a layer, right? So this is the progress, the progression. You can get rid of this. Maybe use this image as inspirations. If I get rid of the scribbles, we end up with this. We have we end up with more scribbles. We can actually use. We can use this as a starting point. And make this more, three D or why not. Let's suppose I can start from here, you know, and start tracing this a little bit. Uh, maybe not, not a good idea. Delete. But we can use this as starting point. The AI is actually, the AI is using these layers. It's influencing, influencing this. It lost the scribble layers. Oh, I mean, it's, it didn't lose. Okay, in layer nine, we just, yeah, it's still there. I think I, I just gonna start to blur some things. Yeah, I think I did. <laughs> I did something wrong. I I used that layer instead of the bottom one. Wow. Okay. So I lost, kind of lost my scribbles a little bit. That's okay. If I just do this, I gonna lose all the treatiness that we have, the coolness that we have earlier. You can always switch to the hard one, the hard marker and repaint on it. Oh yeah, I, I forgot I forgot the AI also still have some influence. I can we can infuse some of these ideas. So it's kind of back and forth. Ah, okay, yeah. I could bring back some of those. Yeah, maybe this part is complete or sort of sort of complete. I like I don't mind this one. 
send it there so we can save it okay yeah we can always refine this part let's say I'm I stop there stop there and create a new save this one is this one not safe I want to show you one more thing post thing Create a new layer, control net, and this one we call pose. Uh, we need to apply pose from a layer. So file, import animation frames. I believe that. Can be added from the desktop. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. How do we transform this guy? Scale, transform, okay. This is the from Pulse Maniacs website. Character dancing or throwing something, throwing a spear. Paint layer to this. Let's let's save this. Get rid of that. Create new. Okay, paint layer two. Let's make this pose and then click on add new character pose. Create control layer. Create control layer. See the AI is actually generating something based on that. This pose, pose control, and then uh, okay, let's see. Uh, make a robot character posing, throwing spears. Dynamic, hyper real. Am I still recording? Yeah. Generate. So it's gonna use this pose. Uh, sorry, the canvas is really bright. Image layer fill. Can I fill? There like a paint bucket somewhere here. Okay, anyway, it's creator, so or oh, there's a vector layer. Hmm, okay, just do this, you know. It's a creator, it's painting app. Okay, it's too green. This character Slip. I need a paint roller app. Okay, by the way, by the way, this generation is taking a while. Maybe the sampling is too high. I should have used, I think I did use the LCM one. Okay, we have the control pose anyway, based on this, this guy over here. You can always trace 
or paint on top. Okay, now we have resolve. Robot character. Alien character throwing spears dynamic. Okay, we have a character like totally like a robot. It's too strong. But anyhow, supposedly, if we have this um, and we want to paint our own, you could always start with scribble, right? Scribble. Okay, this is the character body. Okay, this is like 3D the arm part. We can always push. The pose a little bit is the leg part needs to be more prominent. We can push this a little bit more, and you know, we have a little bit more freedom with our creations. This one goes there, it's doing it's pointing, it's throwing something. At this point, you know, it's probably better. This is the if he has control and paint layer. This is scribble affecting the result. We actually have something here already, but we don't know. This doesn't look like a robot or mecha character. But if we Maybe it's a time. It's time to go back and use life mode. This is like the blocking stage. Okay, we have this image over here, some kind of alien character throwing a spear. Paint layer 4. Image. Control pose. Oh, okay, I think there's there might be a bug or something. I keep, now I'm getting... The previous one. Yeah, I think it could be a bug. Restart creator. It's got confused and look it's look it's using <laughs> Alien Mecha character throwing spear. This life mode, create control net, get the pose, create control net, get the scribble layer from layer number four, which is our scribble layer. Yeah, cool, right? See, this is background layer, character pose, control pose, our scribbles. We don't have any design yet. At this point, run this. So whilst the AI is slowly building something, we can we can doodle here.
It looks very green. Okay, we have a mecha, some kind of mecha character. Randomized to see. Do you like that design or? Ah, okay, that's better. It's more interesting. I mean, the body is, is pointing that way in this one. This one seems to be more dynamic. Huh. Create new layer. So I'm curious if that's probably better. Okay, size four. Oh, this also. <laughs> Which arm is it using to throw this? to decide which arm is doing which throw okay maybe okay, maybe character actually <clears throat> pointing like a gun or something instead of throwing spears okay it's doing it's holding a gun it's a leg so apparently apparently that that layer of paint there helps me to define the scribbles here but I lost I don't know what to draw here I do however have more interesting starting to see this design right that looks cool mm. if you have the character design already now you just need to apply that design into this pose which just could be slightly hard you need to train yourself to draw your character yep cool okay i starting to get more definition but i want this to be right hands this should be left hand this is the body and the design of my character has changed to paint layer number six boom okay AI update Hey, look, we get something. Okay, the, the AI seems to be left-handed, but I want this to be right hand. Shoes, high heel, okay, that's cool. Okay. Holding gun. At planet abandon cyber punk. Oh, 
I hit enter again. Should undo that. Yeah, it could be a bug. But whenever, whenever I hit enter, it, the prompt disappears. Ah. We have this layer. File, export, PNG. Create new, scribble, load layer, scribble, scribble from files. Our scribbles. Robot make a character holding gun, dynamic pose, generate. Slot should be this fast in Krita. Starting to get some things, not 100%. Strings, 30%. Increase the string, I think. Create new layers. Fade this. Let's do our final stroke inking. It's not final. It's not final. It's, it's never ending process. Anyhow, yeah. you can see this guy over here. Like to have that kind of ear. This is that part. It's a little bit like a uh, Rocketeer character. So this robot tend to be, it likes to be left-handed. So, so, so this is gonna be the body. I have to change the pose. Yeah, like I said, it's like to be left-handed. So make scribble that's, character is left-handed. So the leg also change this. This is the right leg. To be doing that. Okay, look, this arm's pointing that way. You don't have that. This guy create new file export posting to scribble load layer scribble from files generate. Realistic, realistic vision five. Okay. Scribble weight one hundred percent. Let's make ten. Okay. Look, we get something here. So this is something probably that's. Eventually, this guy will try to mimic that paint layer 7. 
but because this one's slower that means we have time to do this guy and while it's doing that also because we are already we, we are deciding okay what's the arms gonna be still like a concept arts holding a gun okay all right you know at this point we can create a layer and start to define some areas I, I will use the hard hard brush for now Just define the areas maybe I start to think of the lightning the background can be from AI maybe maybe like this I don't know can be more expressive here I mean probably not the style you want but okay, this one seems to be more blurry I, I like this oily blurry markers I think it bleeds a little bit so you have you have that it's smooth some areas now okay the characters deciding to look like that look at this look at this one right at cyber abandoned place ruins generate this uh, don't forget to save I guess bring it over there yeah so this at this point you it's up to you whether you want to duplicate this and then just blur some areas and then repaint it yourself or even like retrace retrace some that you like some that you don't okay so it's just gonna keep going so that's the whole process with the Krita stuff okay draw things is a lot faster I wish Krita can be that fast as well maybe I need to enable GPU or something let's stop this stop maybe for performance I should enable this GPU Okay, and then run this again. This is 512 by 512. I can actually enable refine here. High resolution fix. So I have a feeling can create one more layer layer 9 and I can perhaps trace this guy where's my favorite line to I have a feeling that I 
to tick. To thin. I like the eyes here like that. That's basically like that. I have to trace it better, but I, at least the body part is already defined. This uh, the rib, the arm could have certain details. It might be, I think the GPU mode might be a little bit faster there, as you can see on the left. The robot design, we haven't decided with how the robot should look, right? But at least we have learned how to make a character to pose like this, like, and it's actually holding like a gun, it's a cyber kind of robot. Now we are back to scribble mode, but you can see on the left here, we have some kind of reference to continue with this design. If I actually decided, okay, maybe I can increase this high GPU mode and use layer 9, the AI probably going to be, hey, you're crazy, you change your design again. Let's put that anyway to there. Let's paint layer nine, scribble paint layer nine. randomize the seed now we can actually fill in some of the details based on the scribble and probably at this point we should have uh, start shading some sort back to our shading yeah seems to be it's happily continue even though I have changed my design so I'm using some kind of brush I think Oh, okay. Don't paint there. Fill the areas. Maybe use that. Use the AI art as a reference. So this is probably just the slowest part. I like the, how it's, it puts the blue at the top. Let's randomize the seed. This scribble layer 100%. Let's increase the strength. Stop that. Try again. Oh, 
okay this guy is more refined sort of scribble control LCM stable diffusion that's what we need LCM so anyhow send this there let's say we are happy with this and we want to refine this file export posting three create new 768 by 768 select from files scribble control net okay this could be Get a scribble layer. Generate. We might have something now. Just a little bit faster. This one just keep going. But we are we almost we have the final design. It's character apparently the character is more like a female cyborg. Okay, interesting. Scribble. This image to image should work. Ninety percent image to image, hundred percent that scribble real six fission seven six eight try dream shaper generate yeah a little bit better more interesting yeah okay sorry we end up with some kind of ideas. With the pose, the character, the character design, you gotta think again. Okay, this is this the character that I want, or is this really my own character? Something to think about. But we gotta some design, anyhow. So, so that's the process with Krita, and in the AI it goes back and forth, and you do you do learn things like maybe with the shading and stuff, and then. The process of blocking and drawing shapes it's more like a if not anything this could be like a some kind of therapy artist therapy is this your own work 100 percent? maybe it's 50 50 infusions but you got some kind of character design forget everything now try redraw everything without looking at ai and see if you can come out with anything yeah so that's the whole process interesting yeah i think it's interesting uh could be faster with krita and mac i believe just as fast as draw things can do it so but anyhow hopefully you find this useful uh thanks again for tuning in and i'll see you next time thank you